Hey everybody, this is Pastor Tim. I know it's been a bit. I was not very good at uh, recording some videos of reading the Spark Story Bible last week. It was just the week after Easter and I just wasn't as productive as I hoped I was, but we're back at it. If you remember, we just got done reading about the Israelites escaping from Egypt. Do you remember who the man's name was that helped free the Israelites who went to Pharaoh and said, let my people go? His name was Moses. And after a bunch of plagues, Pharaoh said, you can go. So a bunch of bad things happened. And finally, Pharaoh said, Israelites or Hebrews, you may go. And they left and then they got to the Red Sea. Do you remember that? And Pharaoh's armies were kind of coming behind him because Pharaoh changed his mind. And then the Red Sea is in front of them and they felt trapped. The Israelites thought they were trapped. But Moses was able to part the Red Sea and the Israelites escaped uh, from the Egyptians. So we continue that story of God's people with something with what's called manna, quail, and water. So now the people have escaped Egypt and now they're wandering around wondering what is next. And this is going to help tell us about what happens after they escaped Egypt. God loved the Israelites and their leader, Moses. God promised to bring the people to a place where they could build homes and live happily. They had never lived outside of Egypt before, and they were afraid. But God went with them as they walked long and far to the place God promised. Traveling was hard and tiring. Along the way, people became hungry. They complained to Moses, I'm so hungry. One boy cried, I wish I could go back to Egypt, whined a little girl. At least we had food to eat there. Her stomach growled. The people missed their dinners of meat and bread. The Israelites didn't know that God heard them complaining. That evening, something strange happened. Tiny birds called quails appeared everywhere. God sent the quails so the people could eat meat. <clears throat> so look, here are the people complaining, <clears throat> excuse me, complaining about what did you bring us out here for, Moses? And there's Moses in the middle. Do you remember the name of these birds that God sent so they could eat? Those are little quails. The next morning, the ground glistened with fresh dew. Even after the sun dried up the dew, there was still something covering the ground. It looked like bread had rained from heaven. It was manna. The manna looked like tiny seeds and tasted like bread. The people ate and ate. Every day, God sent manna and quails so that the people had food to eat. The Israelites kept traveling toward the place God promised. After a while, they ran out of water. Even though God had given them food when they were hungry, the people still complained. My mouth feels dry like a desert, sobbed the child. The people were thirsty. This time, God told Moses to hit a rock with his staff. When he did, water gushed from the rock. The people had more than enough to drink, and God gave food and water to the Israelites every day. God took care of the people, just like God promised. Do you remember after the dew dried, what do we call these little bits of food? That's manna. And they were able to eat the manna, kind of like bread. And then they were thirsty. And look, here's Moses hitting a rock and water comes pouring out of the rock for the people. Look, here's a star right here. We have to read what that is to see what you guys should talk about. What are some things you need that God provides for you? So what are things you need that God provides for you? Just like God provided manna and quail and water for the Israelites, what does God provide for you? Talk about that with your family. And then um, maybe at grace, at dinner time, you could say those things that God provides for you again. Remember them. Right now, let's pray. Dear God, you provide for us in so many ways. Help us to remember all the ways you provide, from love to food to all of the earth and the entire creation. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great day.